No! Oh fuck! Sweetheart, oh, no, I might, I might need to like show you. Wait a second. Corn more close up because they fucking don't resemble. I've me. seen plenty of fucking corn. Wait a second. I could have. I could have nothing. planted rows of vases over here. Yes. Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep that in um in mind. Now you have the coffee bean, which is it lets you use mushrooms during the day, which is very very useful. Useful. Yes. I'm gonna Coffee equip bean. that immediately because the other ones are fucking free. <laughs> Exotic butters. <laughs> well, it's not so much. It's not so much that they're free because you have to, instead of paying nothing, you're paying seventy five for a coffee bean to wake it up. But there Thank are you. some very useful fucking shrooms, especially the uh, like the freeze shroom or the the cryo shroom and shit like that. Sun shroom. Yeah, Your because mom. those are free. Uh, oh, duh, of course, I need this, uh, the flower and the pumpkin head. Guys. Can you get through a level without sunflowers? <laughs> Probably not. No. No. Yo. You need the sunflowers to generate sun, and if you don't have enough sun, then you can't fucking plant any plants. In other words, you're fucked. Yo, uh, solar. I can I finish a level without sunflowers. It'll be a short level. The first one, maybe. Right. Guy is, is solar. It's I got a I got a thing things. that you might find find humorous. I might find funny bone. Yes, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two has a Metacritic score of ninety eight. The Last of Us Part Two has a Metacritic score of ninety six. You can't beat perfection. <laughs> this is proof you cannot improve upon what is already perfect. No, you have to plant it on the shroom. There we go. What? Uh oh. What? Come on. Oh I'm, wait. I'm the telling shoes. you that I'm telling you, you think you're going about completely the wrong strategy with what you're doing right now. One more sun, you've, come on. You've made a very critical error. <laughs> what what's the error? They need some different Critical. Hey, everybody, well, it's critical. And... The thing is, you shouldn't have the coffee bean to equip multiple types of shrooms. You should have, like, one catch-all shroom, basically. Which is why I said, like, the cryo shroom or the magnet shroom, I would see as good candidates. Alright, hang but on. Stuff like the sun shroom and the puff shroom, not so much, because, again, you have to spend 75 sun on the coffee bean in order to actually use them. So that they're not free, they're at least 75. So I'm restarting the stage, and where's the magnet shroom? There you are. There. Hello. I'm. Oh, tall nut. I'm making friends. All right. Uh, anything else? Oh, cherry bomb. Yeah. All right. So I got the sunflower, the flower pot, kernel pult, coffee bean, magnet shroom, tall nut, pumpkin, and cherry bomb. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good setup. All right. Love teams. We all love teams in this household. So, I got into succulents last fall, and it takes a long time to grow a succulent plant from a leaf. Suck. Yes. Suck. Apparently my mother got some succulent plants, like, a couple months ago, and hers are growing, like, absolutely crazy. And they have, like, hundreds of little leaves on them. And I'm like, oh, so, no, did you point these out so I could take some leaves? She's like, yeah, take as many as you want. I take, like, two handfuls, put them in a little container, walk around, come back later, take more. Because <laughs> I have a problem. Hyperfertility, you know? Prefer what, Ali? Hyperfertility. Yeah, at least hold it off. Uh, she says hers grow really well because she just ignores them. I'm like, oh yeah, that could be why mine aren't growing very well. I can't ignore them. I love them too much. Come the fuck on! Butter. So now I have many, many little plant starters that I get to play with tomorrow. Nice. Looks like everybody else has skadoodled. I hadn't even noticed. 
Yeah, there were only three of us when you came in. Yes. Yes. Now things get more hectic. Intimate. Is it? Well, I mean, it was more hectic when there's more people. Is at least yeah. the after dark part of the stream. I mean, technically. It's dark where I am. I it didn't is home dark where I am as well. It is dark home where is I am as well. Well, he's busy gaming. He can't tell us if it's dark out. It's dark out. It's always dark out when you're gaming. Yes. Mm-hmm. The sun is never up while you're gaming. <laughs> the sun is up. It makes glare on the screen. There. Not if you have really and good curtains, it doesn't. Curtains. That's why you close the Son blinds. Yeah, I misplanted that. It doesn't really matter. You can just the put curtains. a tall nut there. All right. The curtains say the sun put doesn't exist. Put in your face. Ah, uh, the curse. I understand that curse. The curse. The 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 one the quote unquote one OC and then all the other OCs and then you just playing favorites with the one OC. I know that feeling. It's the curse. What you talk about, realist? I'm, I'm confused. What what's happening here? It's like how it's like I right, say you're you're a dungeon master, right? Okay. For D &D. Ah. You have that one. You have that one. Persuasion roll. You have that one NPC that you just you love, and it's your baby, and you love it more than the others. Yes. And you focus on them way too much, and you're like, you realize, oh, I didn't develop the the main villain of this. Of this arc. Oh. Better just I steal see. from Strahd. I see. We recently had a situation it. where the DM just came up with a like filler character in a few minutes just because we needed it in that moment. And now it's all the player's favorite person and she has to build it up into a real character. Is it Madara Uchiha? No, it's a stable boy named Carl. God damn Carl. Fucking <laughs> dude, Carl! He's, he's gonna be a hero by the end of it. Guaranteed. Limit he's too powerful. Fucking hero. He has limitless potential. Yes. Oh my god, when they started that session and they're like, they're like outfitting Carl with the loot they had gathered over the sessions. It's like, you're just getting into this game. This is what is known as in the in in the business as adopting an NPC. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> okay, did Carl ever come up before this? Because I really feel like she just made him for that game. I I don't think so. I haven't been to every game, so I wouldn't know if it was just like an obscure session. But. Uh I feel like he was just spur of the moment. She just grabbed the name Carl and made up a voice, and suddenly everyone loves Buddy, him. Buddy, put down another Colonel Pult. What are you doing? Oh my god, the only one with one has a zombie. The exactly. <laughs> oh. It's the only one with one, and you've only got one Colonel Pult, and it was the fucking Conehead zombie. Get out of here, zombie. Be yeah, gone. The Father, the Son, and okay, the Holy Spirit. Mike McGlooby and Dick... Uh, Dick Dastardly and Waluigi. Oh no. The father, uh, the son, and the whole. Oh, I see it. Um. So good. I disagree with this. Because your mom. Being mm -hmm. angry about it does not make it inherently wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm just well, saying. I'm not angry. Why are you I'm, booing I'm not me? Angry. I'm just reject it. In the words of Hannibal Burris, why are you booing me? I'm right. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> Greatest, one of my favorite lines from Hannibal Burr is just, Hey, Eric, Aaron, look at me. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. Well, that <laughs> has a very important question. What? what? Do you watch Unis Honest? Yes. Thank God. Oh, fuck, it's the pogo. I, I know Solar doesn't watch it. Ah, damn it. Mainly, I just I haven't had the chance to. Also, yeah, the uh, the magnet pulls from... I All think right, it pulls on. from almost any row, so... I need... I told you a while back I would just link you to some that I think you'd find funny. Huh. I found the perfect one. <laughs> well, I find it funny anyway. Does it involve guns? It in... Actually, I can send you the paintball one. 
Oh my god. Also, Rosaria 25, factually incorrect. Uh, the corn plant has much more variety than the cabbage plant. The cabbage plant is a one-trick pony. The corn, the corn plant also has the ability to stun zombies temporarily, which is more than the cabbage plant can do. There. And when it there. stuns, it also damages them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's like the cabbage plant, but sometimes you get the chance to stun them also. It's, it's marginally better than the, it's. It's it, basically it's a direct. Better. It's a direct heck, marginally better. Huh? Oh my god. Yes. Dude, for those uh, of you who don't understand the joke because you're heathens, <gasps> um, <Curious gamer>, <laughs> it. marginally because margin is an alternative for butter. Solar. What? They've got pre-orders for the PS5 Margarine? controller. Do you want to know how much they are? Is it horrendously expensive or actually cheap? Eighty bucks. Why? For the controller. That's for literally the... more than a, you would spend on a fucking video game. <laughs> they they le they Sorry, accidentally put up the pre-order price for the console itself. Do you want to know how much it was to pre-order it from a uh, from a uh, Play Asia? Does the it break? One? Does it break four digits? It is seven hundred dollars. Fucking I was gonna Christ. Guess three digits. Well, damn! I'd rather buy a three eighty Ti. Why would I pay seven hundred dollars for a console? Why? You could get a functioning motorcycle for the amount of that console and controller. You could get no a games. gaming computer that would be better than the console for seven hundred dollars. You know, yeah, oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I've got a PC in process. It's less than that. Like what the? F oh, this is so stupid. I hate. I hate. I hate so much. This I'll is like one time. of those. This is just one of the- oh, you know what? I- I think I actually remembered. I think that's the other key thing about the fucking- the magnet shroom. It also pulls off the football helmets. I just remembered that. And it only works on that row? It works on, uh, that row and all adjacent rows. Like, all the ones- all the rows that are touching that row, it's- yeah. I'll just get rid of that. There. Yeah, that's- Solar. What? Sony. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a pro gamer move proceeds to shoot self in the shin with eighty dollars control eighty dollar controllers and this fucking seven hundred dollar consoles. Fucking Christ! Like, how do you? What <laughs> do people think that this is? Like, this is one of those times where I, where people like like to shit on PC gaming because oh, PC gaming super expensive and console gaming is way cheaper. It's like mm -hmm. eh, that line's starting to get awful blurry right now, isn't it, pal? Mm -hmm. Spending, are used like, to and yeah, it's seven hundred fucking dollars for the console, and then another eighty for the fucking ability to actually play the console. Like, oh, I get one controller with my with my console. Oh, if I want to play multiplayer games, I gotta shell out. If I want to play a four player co op game, I gotta shell out what like fucking almost two hundred goddamn dollars for the a fucking. A controller should not cost more than fucking thirty dollars, unless it's like some super cool fucking custom. Like a like a scuff controller where you can there customize was, like the back paddles and shit. There was <laughs> one controller that was actually pretty fucking cool. It was like a it was kind of like a bullet casing style controller, and the fucking the Xbox play button was a fucking. It was the casing of a Desert Eagle. Nice. I thought that was pretty fucking rad. Those but like. Nice. But, like, the shit-looking PS5 controller is 80 goddamn dollars. Oh, look, something that is inevitably going to break, and probably going to break pretty easily. And it's just shy of a fucking hundred bucks. Like, no, fuck off. A controller should not cost... I, ideally, it should cost, like, about 20 bucks. That's it. You know, why? one. Why does the controller for the PS5... So cost weird. as much suck like p p why does it cost as much as the pro controller for the xbox one okay so one thing that you could probably do golden is put one in the second row from the top put a flower pot in front of the tall nut and then a magnet room second one from the top second one from the top my friend <laughs> These right are very simple instructions. Yes, right there. All right, put the magnet stream there, and then oh, also you gotta wake up with the comments. Very backseat gaming. Some absolute shitter in the comment section for the fucking for like the the tweets comment section is seeing a lot of broke people. Are in you the, in the comments. serious? Oh my god, a different zombie used the ladder. I didn't know they could do that. 
Yeah, that's what that's their shtick. There. They that provide takes care of that. transport for all of them, not just for themselves. That's I don't like that. Yeah, no, that's mm, why they're I don't like this. fucking ass. No, you don't need to put a magnet shroom up there. You've already got the other. The other one was preoccupied. Uh, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Seeing a lot of people being broke in the in the comments for this for this tweet for you know what? Fuck you, guy. Why would you want to spend fucking seven hundred dollars on a console? You know what? I never fucking understood. Hmm. Fucking shoes, like designer shoes, like yep. not even like the actual like super fucking high society, but like sneakers that are like two hundred fucking dollars, and people walk in them like trying not to get creases and shit because Dude. shoe game on point. Yeah. Like no, they're fucking sneakers. You You're supposed to go them. outside and scuff them up and get them dirty and shit like that, and then you wear them for fucking ever because they're molded to the to your feet and they're fucking comfortable. Also, Dude. let's consider this. If you're trying to get a part of your clothing noticed, maybe don't put it as far Shit. down from your eyes as possible. Damn it. Yeah, like, dude, I watched uh, two high schoolers beat the shit out of each other when a new pair of shoes was released at the Foot Locker at the mall. What the hell? Why? Were they, were they fighting over the shoes? Is this their mating ritual? The one who wins <laughs> gets to mate the shoe? I don't know, man. There are two shoes. You All right, go so there. I got some kind of a pop, shoe game, like some kind of a point. gardener watering can. So you watering can now can. now you can play Zen, Zen Garden. Garden mode. Zen Garden. Oh, hmm. That, yeah, you no, can get like essentially extra goodies from that mode. It's not that important. This intern walked into the into the studio yesterday. <sighs> and on this occasion, I present to you your very <sighs> own Zen Garden. He was wearing a pair of like one hundred and eighty dollar Nike sneakers, and he was walking around like tiptoeing. And I'm like, "Go get me the damn records, kid!" Like usually I'm nice to the kid, but I'm like, "Get me the damn records now." Yeah, my shoes cost about seventeen bucks, and they last for four or five years. I was able to get my shoes at Ross's for like fifteen bucks. Mine were, I think they're about twenty. They weren't too terrible, and. I've been wearing them pretty much daily because they're fucking comfy. So. They're comfy ish. Same. Like, you find that one pair that's like super comfy. Yeah, that's the one Not I have right now. That, but they're also they're they're also in red and white, so you know, pretty bitchin' color scheme. All right, fertilizer. Okay. I've worn nothing but black and sometimes black and white sneakers for like the last twelve years. Nah, I that's, got that's just sneakers, not other shoes. These these motherfuckers, red and white, so they're nice as shit. I got a pair of Timberland sneakers, and I was able to get these like on sale to Ross's, but they're like brand name Timberlands. Uh, and that's the only thing, like only that's Timberlands, cool. like that I own. And I see all these people being like, "Yo, you got new Tims on point, bro." And I'm like, "I got Tim sneakers." Boots. Yeah, but like people will wear them as like casual, like as casually as sneakers, and I don't I've, get it. I've seen Timberland's high heeled shoes, so yeah, I have, yeah. To, I have those. I have the Timberland like high heeled shoes, which are like their shoes, but I don't understand people who wear like Timberland boots as casually as oh, sneakers. No, no. I mean, like actual wedge heels are like four inches tall. Wedge heels? What? They're like women's Timberlands. Hold, I'm gonna get you a picture. I'm Why? Gonna there are some very fucking strange shoe choices. When did, where did we I mean, go like, wrong? You look at, there, there are certain pairs of shoes that you just oh, look at and you're no. like, why the fuck is this popular? Why do people fucking wear these? You mean the Yeezy? I mean, the reason they wear those is because uh, they're, people are fucking idiots. Because Kanye West literally said, "I'm gonna make, oh, I'm gonna make you? a shoe, oh my God. and people are gonna buy it." 